Hi, welcome to Juicer's Enterprise Plan. The Enterprise Plan provides large organizations and agencies a more robust option than our standard plans. It allows for essentially unlimited flexibility in the creation of Juicer feeds, which is our term for the embeddable social walls, and the addition of sources, which are social accounts and hashtags that you display within the feeds. The Enterprise Plan is frequently used by agencies whose clients are looking for their own social feeds and by organizations that need to create and manage many of their own social feeds, such as universities. Let's take a look at Juicer's Enterprise Plan and some of the features that make this a great option for larger scale social feed projects. We'll proceed assuming that you've already watched Juicer's basic demo video and are familiar with how to add sources into a social feed. As an enterprise account owner, your home base will be a special enterprise dashboard that provides a bird's eye view of all the juicer feeds that you create and manage. It also allows you to keep track of your total monthly cost and access other key features that simplify your social feed management. First, let's look through the main navigation panels available to you. As an administrator, you will start on the Your Feeds panel upon logging in. Here, you can see your current grand total monthly cost at the top. While this example currently reads $0, yours will reflect a cost based on your usage, which we'll explain in a few minutes. As we scroll down, we see the various juicer feeds that we've created. If you started an enterprise account from scratch, this area will initially be empty. If you've upgraded from an existing juicer plan, the feeds that you've already created will be imported into this area. Depending on how you're using an enterprise account, you may soon have many feeds listed here that belong to your various clients or to different branches of your organization. Let's look at an example of a feed overview on this page. In the upper right, we see a button allowing us to view the feed, which can also be accomplished by clicking the name of the feed. Clicking this, we're taken to the Juicer dashboard for this specific feed. Here, we can manage its content and add or remove social sources. There's no limit to the number of social accounts or hashtags that you can enter into a Juicer feed on the Enterprise plan, although these changes will impact your monthly cost. Back on the Enterprise dashboard now, we also see a button to edit the feed. Clicking here, we can change the name of the feed, and we can change the update frequency, which is how often this feed will pull in new posts. Changing the update frequency is an option only available on the Enterprise plan. You can set this to as slowly as once per day, or as quickly as once per minute. The slower the speed, the cheaper the feed will be. Again, we'll cover pricing more in a few minutes. The Enterprise account is also the only account that allows for an archive option, which will prevent any new posts from entering the feed. This is available for a nominal cost of $1 per source per month, and is convenient for when a campaign has wrapped up but you still want to display the feed. The update frequency can be changed at any time. This is convenient for situations when you might need faster update speeds during a specific time period, such as a live event. You can speed it up for as long as you need and then slow it back down again when you're ready. Back on the main dashboard again, we also see a button to delete the feed entirely. And below the name of the feed, we see how much this specific feed costs based on its number of sources and its update frequency. If your feeds belong to your various clients, you can use this number as an estimate of the cost to pass along to them. Here you can also see a list of the sources within the feed and the users who can access this feed and moderate its content, which we'll cover more in depth momentarily. Finally, from the top of the Your Feeds panel, a search bar is available so that you can find feeds based on their name or based on the names of sources within the feed.
Next, let's take a look at the Manage Users panel, which we're on now. There are two types of people who can operate within an enterprise account. The first level are administrators. We'll call them admins. Admins can access this main enterprise dashboard and have full powers to make changes to the account and access and moderate any of the juicer feeds. Next, there are users. Users only have access to specific feeds in your plan and cannot access your main enterprise dashboard. They also cannot add or remove social media sources from the various feeds. Admins will include you and anybody else charged with managing your enterprise account. Users will include your clients or people at your organization who only need to work with certain feeds. You can add new admins directly from this panel. Users, on the other hand, are added from the Your Feeds panel by clicking Add User on any of your feeds. Just enter the person's email address and he or she will receive an invitation from Juicer via email. From then on, that person can log into Juicer and access only the feeds that you've assigned them. The last area of the navigation panel that we'll cover in this video is white labeling by clicking Set Up White Label. White labeling allows you to provide Juicer service to your clients without any of Juicer's branding appearing. This includes the dashboards that your clients will use to moderate the content for their social feeds. Rather than see Juicer's logo, they will see your logo that you have uploaded. And the social feeds will be housed entirely within your own domain, rather than Juicer's. Setup for white labeling is simple. Just create a subdomain on your website that can house your Juicer feeds and enter this address into the field provided within the Setup white label area. A couple other simple instructions are provided within the text. Juicer will then complete the setup on our end and your white labeling will be activated. Next, we'll explain Juicer's enterprise pricing. The enterprise plan includes a one-time upfront fee of 1,000 US dollars. After this, the enterprise plan has a monthly fee that our system calculates based on the combined cost of all your Juicer feeds. The cost of a single feed is determined based on two factors. The first is the number of sources in the feed. The second is the feed's update frequency. The more sources in the feed, and the faster the update frequency, the more expensive the feed will be. If you'd like to create an estimate for the monthly cost of a feed, you can use the calculator found at juicer.io slash enterprise. Use the left slider to set your number of sources, and the right slider to set your desired update frequency. You will see a monthly cost for that feed. If you plan to have more than 20 sources in a feed, simply set the left slider at 1 or at 20 plus. Then multiply the resulting dollar amount by your desired number of sources. You may be wondering, what if I set my update frequency to something very fast for only a couple days, like once per minute updates, and the rest of the month I have it set to something slow, like once per day updates? Our solution is to charge you for the average of your usage over the 30 day period, so you essentially pay for what you use. To calculate your total monthly bill, our system will take snapshots throughout your 30-day billing period of the total cost of your account, which you see listed at the top of your enterprise dashboard. Your charge that month will be the average of those snapshots. Again, this way, you're charged based on the average of your usage, accounting for any changes that you've made throughout the month. If you make a change to one of your juicer feeds that will impact your costs, you will see the current monthly cost of your account reflect that change within about one hour. Please note that Juicer can only charge you this one total fee each month and cannot charge your clients individually. It will be up to you to determine and facilitate any costs you need to pass along to your clients. Remember that each feed's current monthly cost 
is listed right on the dashboard to help you with this. One final point about Juicer's enterprise pricing that is commonly asked about. If you repeat some of the same sources across multiple Juicer feeds, they will always count as distinct sources. For example, say you created a feed that contained your corporate Twitter account as a source. Then you created a second feed and also entered your corporate Twitter account as a source in that feed. Even though it's a repeat source, it will still count as a distinct source in your overall enterprise plan. Please keep this in mind when estimating your monthly costs. The last thing we'll cover in this video are the newest features that have been added to our enterprise plan. First, within the dashboard for any juicer feed, you can now customize some of the CSS directly from this feed design panel. This includes altering text and link colors, background colors, and a few other areas. You can also easily drop in more custom CSS by clicking the Customize CSS button. Next, as an enterprise account holder, you and your clients will have access to our User Rights Management tool. Simply hover over any post in your Moderated Post section and click Get Permission. This will send a request to the person who made the post via a comment on that social network. It will ask permission to display or repurpose their social post. This is designed for groups running hashtag campaigns who might want to repurpose user-generated content outside of a juicer feed, or who are customizing their juicer feed in certain ways where obtaining permission would be necessary. You can read more about this on Juicer's blog, and we'll cover it further in another video. Thanks for considering Juicer's Enterprise Plan. If you have any questions, remember to contact us via email at hello at juicer.io or via the contact form on our website.